you have your Bibles with you, or if you would like to turn to, in the Pew Bible, uh, to the last chapter of the bush, book of Joshua, chapter 24. If you're using the Pew Bible, that is on page 368. Make it easy for you. 368 in the Pew Bible. We're going to read verses 1 and the first part of verse 2, and then skip over to verse 14 and read to verse 18. So now let's hear the word of the Lord. Then Joshua assembled all the tribes of Israel at Shechem. He summons the elders, leaders, judges, and officials of Israel, and they presented themselves before God. And Joshua said to all the people, now move into verse 14, Now fear the Lord, and serve Him with all faithfulness. Throw away the gods your forefathers worshipped beyond the river and in Egypt, and serve the Lord. But if serving the Lord seems undesirable to you, then choose for yourselves this day whom you will serve whether the gods your forefathers served beyond the river or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you are living. But as for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. And then the people answered, Well, far be it from us to forsake the Lord to serve other gods. It was the Lord our God himself who brought us and our fathers up out of Egypt from the land of slavery and performed those great signs before our eyes. He protected us on our entire journey and among all the nations through which we have traveled. And the Lord drove out before us all the nations, including the Amorites who lived in the land. We too will serve the Lord because He is our God. May God bless the reading and the hearing of His word. Choices. We all make them, don't we? Every single day. Choices. Decisions. We cannot go throughout the day without making choices. We choose what time we get out of bed in the morning. Or maybe the alarm clock chooses it for us, but if that be the case, we chose the night before when to set that thing. Or we choose what clothes to wear and what foods to eat. We choose where we're going to go throughout the day. We choose some of the people with whom we will associate throughout the day. We choose a lunch time. We choose a dinner time. We choose a bedtime. We choose what we'll do with our extracurricular in our curricular activities and the extra time that we might have, we all make choices every day. And we've all made many important choices. We choose who our friends will be. And with those whom we do not want to associate, we choose who we shall marry. We choose where we shall go. Everything in life is a matter of choice. Now, it's simple to say, well, I make choices every day, and, and it doesn't really affect anybody but me, but that's wrong. You see, every choice that we make affects not only us, but affects someone else. That friend, that spouse, that employer, someone in the marketplace, every choice that we make somehow affects someone else. And every person that we affect with the choice that we make, their choices affect someone else, and someone else, and someone else. Whether we want to accept it or not, every decision that we make 
not only affects who we are, but it affects a multitude of people that we're not even thinking about at the time. Every decision that you make is an important decision. In the book of Joshua, we're told that Joshua is, is about to make a very important decision in his life. And he's going to make that decision public before all the people of Israel. No doubt he had made that decision many years ago. If we were to, to go back a, a few chapters over to the book of Numbers, we discover that in Numbers 13, Moses sends out 12 spies to look over the land that God had promised to the people of Israel when he led them out of Egypt. And those 12 spies went out and they looked at the land and they considered it to be a wonderful place. A land flowing with milk and honey. A land with rich soil and, and good crops. A wonderful place to live. But they also discovered the Nephilim there. The giant people. And those 12 came back. And all 12 reported what a wonderful place that looks like over there. But 10 of those spies says, we can't take that land. Those people are too big. Why, we're like grasshoppers in their sight. They'll just step on us and that'll be the end of us. But Joshua and Caleb were different. Caleb silenced the crowd that day. And he said, if God gave us the land, let's go take it. But the crowd didn't listen. They listened to the ten who said, no, we're like grasshoppers in their sight. It's too big of a task. We cannot do it. That's another way of saying God can't do it. Because Joshua and Caleb understood if God had said, this is our land, then God will make sure that the land is ours. Just as he brought us out of Egypt, he will now take us to that land. But the people made a decision that day. A decision that not only affected them, but affected all of the tribes of Israel. It affected the land through which they would march. It would mean their disobedience and not choosing the choice that God gave them to make, that they would wander in the wilderness for 40 long years. And in that wilderness time, we'll face many disasters and tragedies. And many times of rebelling against God and making wrong decisions again, which affected not only them, but affected their children as well. Their families. Now the time has come. Forty years has passed. Moses has died and gone to be with the Lord. And Joshua is present. Joshua is a new leader of Israel. And he has brought them to the, the river Jordan where they're about to cross into the promised land and to take what God has said would be theirs many years before. They just chose not to be obedient. And now Joshua almost wants to make sure that they are ready to cross over. And he says, now you need to choose today who you're going to serve. You can serve the gods back in Egypt, or you can serve the gods of the Amorites. These false gods that your forefathers seemed to worship. Or you can choose the Lord, Yahweh, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The I am that I am. You can choose the Lord. You can choose whoever you want to follow this day. As for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. That's our decision. We will serve the Lord. And Joshua's testimony before the tribes of Israel that day encouraged them to take seriously their decision. And they all said, we're going to follow the Lord. He brought us to where we are. We're going to follow the Lord.
And Joshua would take those tribes of Israel across the river into the promised land and to begin the process of inheriting all that God had given to them many, many years before. And the decisions made that day, that day on the west side of the Jordan, would impact not only those people, but generations to come. You see, every decision that's made impacts for generations to come. Have you ever stopped to think about that? That the decision you made this morning will impact the life of somebody right here in this church. Or maybe somebody at home. Or a neighbor who lives next door. The decisions that you make today make a difference, not just to you, but to so many, many, countless numbers of people as those decisions seem to like a, like, like a wave just keep going on and on and on. Decisions. We make them. The most important decision that we ever make is our decision to follow Jesus. In a very real sense, we, we, we're put a, we have that same question placed to us almost constantly. Choose today who you will serve. When you got out of bed this morning, did you choose today who you were going to serve? Because you see, we serve so many different things throughout our lives. Sometimes we, we choose to, to serve a bank account. Or we choose to serve and follow dreams that we put in our own minds, not necessarily dreams that God has given to us. Or maybe we choose to follow our jobs. Or we choose to follow our friends. They become the most important thing to us. We make those choices. When you got up this morning, did, and you decided to come to church to worship in this place, did you realize you were making a conscious choice that would affect your life today and the life of the person sitting beside of you because they've had contact with you. You have influenced them with your presence. You made the conscious choice to follow the Lord to His house today. Now, it, it seems to me that when we make that decision, that choice to follow the Lord, when we made that choice many years ago, perhaps, to invite Jesus into our lives, to allow Him to be Savior and Lord, not just Savior, but also Lord, when we made that conscience decision to follow Him in believer's baptism, when we made that conscience decision to allow Him to take control of our lives, then we have to go back and look from whenever that took place to where we are today and the decisions that we continue to make for Jesus is does that really make a difference in who we are and how we relate to one another? Does it really make a difference in the way that tr we treat each other? When we said, as for me and those who live with me, we will follow Jesus. He is our Lord. And we commit our lives to Him. And when we made that decision and when we remake that decision day after day after day, when we get up and said, this is the day the Lord has made, I'm going to rejoice and be glad in it, and I'm going to follow Jesus today, does it impact your life? Does that decision mean that today you're going to look at somebody a little bit differently than you did yesterday? That you're going to love them a little bit more than you did. Does it mean that somehow Jesus has made a difference in our lives when it comes to race relations and the way we treat people of other nationalities or other races?
Does it make a difference in the way that we treat one another in the nature of forgiveness? Does it make a difference in the way that we impact others' lives in the way that we seek to do for them and help them and minister to them? Does it make a difference or does it just seem to be something we do and it does not make any difference in the way that we live? You see, for Joshua, it made a difference. Not just to say he would serve the Lord, but it made a difference in the way that he lived and led. And I say to you, my brothers and sisters in Christ, when we make that decision to follow Jesus, it should make a difference in who we are and how we live and how we share and relate and love one another. When we say, I will follow Jesus anywhere, because that's where he asks us to follow him, anywhere, it means if he asks us to take leadership responsibility at New Bethel Baptist Church, our decision has to be made. Who will we follow? today you see we always make decisions we can say yes we can say no I'm not so sure there's really a maybe anywhere involved in that because you see if we say yes Lord this is what we're going to do we're going to follow him today we can't say, well, let me think about it a while and I'll deal with it next week. Because a maybe decision is like a no decision. It's saying, I'm not willing to do what you're asking me to do today. Today. You see, choose you this day, Joshua said, whom you will serve. Not Think about it for a week and then make that decision. You choose today who you will serve. For me, today, right now, he says, me, my household, we will follow the Lord. Now, how can we follow Jesus? If we are saying in our minds today, in our hearts, today, in our lives, today, I will serve the Lord. My household will serve the Lord. How can I serve the Lord today? How can I serve the Lord each day? Well, I suspect one way you need to serve the Lord, and we need to serve the Lord together, is when we arise in the morning to kind of discover what God wants us to do for the day. You see, it's not just our day. It's the day He's given us. But it's His day to live in us and through us. To follow the Lord, to serve the Lord, is to know what He wants us to do. And how can we know what He wants, what wants us to do if we never get in the Word, if we never spend any time in prayer, if we never spend any time or little time in worship? I mean, an hour a week is great, folks, but you know, God gives us more hours than just one hour or two hours on Sunday morning. What are we going to do with the time that God has given to us? Will we spend some time hearing the Word so we can receive direction? Will we spend some time asking Him to, to reveal His desires for us this day so we can know His direction? Will we take time to, to, to come to worship and take time for Sunday school to study and to learn the Word of God? Will we take time to reach out to a neighbor and to show him God's love through the way that we live? Quite honestly, it's a choice. And the choice that you and I make, the decision that you and I make on every issue that confronts us will not only impact us, but the people around us and the people around them and the people around those folks as well. And it goes on out. Your life matters for Jesus. 
And if you're going to serve Jesus, serve him with your whole heart today. Because what you do is going to affect so many people that you don't even know about. It's a matter of choice. Who will you serve? Today. What will you do with the decision the Lord is asking you to make today? Many years ago, I, I don't remember the date, but I remember the time. I remember I was in the mountains and pastoring in the church up there. Had a wonderful little dog. Her name was Hattie. Hattie Jo. She was a, one of those winter dogs. You know, the hot dogs. Adoption. Love that dog. I was in a hurry to get back to work, and Hattie was on the outside of the house, and as I took off, she ran under the car, and I hit my dog. Let me tell you, that hurts. It hurt the dog. Kill the dog. I reached over there and, and grabbed that dog as soon as I got out, could get out of the car, and she was still in a lot of pain at that point. And when I reached out and grabbed her, she bit me and her, her tooth went all the way through. You see, animals respond to pain. You know what? I carried a scar still. It reminded, reminds me of a decision I made that day, which was not a very good decision. But see, I carried a scar. But the decision I made that day affected my whole house, so we all love the dog, you see. You always carry the scars. You can, you can accidentally put a nail into your hand, and you can draw it out in the hand of a heel, but you'll always carry a scar. But you know what? The scars that we carry are going to affect other people. All the people around us. Choose today who you will serve and choose wisely. Who knows, but the very souls of some people who may be affected by our choice today may depend upon what we do. Would you pray with me? Heavenly Father, we all have choices to make. And choices are not easy. Decisions are not easy. Oh, some may seem to be, but others seem to be quite difficult. And Lord, you know, I confess I have a hard time making decisions on some things. But I know that your word says you got, we've got to make decisions. And just like with Joshua, he said, choose today. And in reality, we have to make choices today. We have to make choices whether we will serve you, whether we'll take leadership responsibility at New Bethel, whether or not we will share the gospel with someone, whether or not we'll reach out to someone we've not reached out to in a long time. We'll have to make decisions on how we relate to family. We'll have to make decisions on dealing and, and loving people that we may not have loved or dealt with in a long time. But Lord, you've asked us to make a decision. And the most important decision you've asked us to make is will we follow you today? Will we serve you today? And I know, Lord, a lot of us made that decision to receive Jesus as Savior and Lord years ago. But still, Lord, you ask us to serve you today. Not what we did yesterday, but what are we going to do today? We live in a land, Lord, that says to us that it's full of giants and we're like grasshoppers. We Christians just don't have a voice anymore. And yet, oh God... That never brought any fear to Joshua or Caleb. And it should never bring any fear to us because we know that you are real and alive 
and all things belong to you. And you said we can accomplish all things. Paul says we can do it through you. Oh, Lord, help us to accomplish today what you want us to accomplish and to have the proper influence on others today that you would have us to have. Oh, Lord, help us to come to know you most fully. Oh, Father, help us to love you with all that we are as we come to you through your Son, Jesus, in the power of your Holy Spirit to experience what you would have us experience today. Lord, we come into your presence. We have shared together in singing. Your word has spoken to us. Now, O oh Lord, help us to make decisions that are pleasing to you. In the name of Jesus, we pray.